Hi there beautiful Thrivers. Welcome back to another video with Thriving in Chaos. Today we're going to be prepping up my budget book for the month of November. Can you believe it? Whew. We are so close to the end of this year. Anyway, we're going to be prepping it up, getting it ready for the new month. So thank you for being here. Click that subscribe button, like the video. Let's go. Hi everyone. I hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. I know you were asking in your mind. <laughs> Before we get started with this video, let me go ahead and grab today's prompt -a card. If you're new to my videos, this is a prompt -a card. It's basically a conversation starter, so I'll ask and answer the question on the card in this video and you guys can put your answers in the comments below. Just a little something to help us get to know each other better. So, today's prompt -a card is... Mm. Mm. I don't like either one of those. We're going to keep moving. Okay, here we go. When were you horribly late to something? Are you normally a punctual person? Ooh, um, I've been late to many a things. <laughs> I was raised by a mom who was not bound by time. Let me just tell you. Um, horribly late. Here's my story. I had my kids in school for just a little bit. My daughters were only in school for probably about three years for my oldest daughter, if you include uh, pre-K, um, and two years for my youngest daughter, including pre-K. So... I had them in school and I was supposed to go and pick them up, but I had fallen asleep and taken a nap <laughs> and I did not wake up in time at all. And I remember feeling so, oh, it was such a dreaded feeling waking up and seeing how late I already was. Then I had to drive there and then I was so embarrassed and so sad because they had taken my two to the office because they were the only ones left and... Uh, I felt so bad, but that was when I was horribly late to something. And normally I can't say that I'm a punctual person. I can't. I rebel against time constraints. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I do it, but, um, I will push that envelope till the very last minute. I am not the type of person to show up early to anything. So yeah, that's just who I am. What about you guys? When were you horribly late to something? And are you normally a punctual person? All right, today is the day we're going to decorate up for November. By the way, let's just go ahead and address the fact that I don't have my nails on anymore. I took them off. My nails can breathe. They feel good. One of the things I like about fake nails is that it doesn't damage your nails. Like if I went to a nail salon and got fake nails there. They really do damage to my nails. These, when I pop them off, I mean, they look fine. So anyway, we're letting them breathe for right now. So yes, I look like I have short and stubby fingers because I do. So <laughs> it is what it is. I embrace my short stubby fingers. Um, we are totally getting through this book. And as you can tell, um, the more stickers I put on here, the harder it is to, like, lay flat because it's just getting thicker with all of the sticker additions in here. That is one thing I noticed. I don't know that this happens with every book. Um, it's mainly because I also have the extra 40 pages, which is really eight, 80 pages front and back. But I have those extra 40 pages here in the back for... Um, my WTF check-in. I think if these weren't there, then this would probably still be laying just fine. Um, but it's a small price to pay for such a beautiful book. So this is an Erin Condren 7x9 monthly planner. I just bought the 2023 uh, monthly planner. So should be getting that in the mail very soon. I can't wait to unbox that with you guys. 
Um, so I just wanted to go ahead and get it, and they were having a sale, so I, I jumped on it. I jumped on it. So it is not the exact same cover. They didn't have this design anymore, but they did have one similar to this design, and then I just personalized it to have the colors that I wanted. I hope it looks okay. Um, I really don't want to change out the stickers that I've made, so I tried to make it as close to that as possible, but... I don't know. I might end up having to make new stickers. Anyway, so this is the Erin Cauldron, and this is um, what I've been using all year long, and we are going to be decorating up for the month of November. Um, as you can see, every month we have decorated in the new theme um, that Miss Casey Lee puts out, and I love it. I like the surprise of it as well. Um, it makes me look forward to each new month and decorating that up. It just, I love it. It's so fun. It's so pretty. So that brings us to November. We're going to be decorating this up with Miss Casey Lee's stickers and my stickers, of course. So we need to open up her stickers and find out what November theme is. So I have hers here. Of course, I did open it just to get a glimpse of it, but I did not actually take anything out of the plastic. So it'll be the first time I've ever touched them. And so, yeah, she always puts a thank you there. It's so sweet. But I'm not going to show you the other side because, of course, it has my address. So here is November theme. And I'm pretty sure on the back side it has my address as well. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that out first. Just so I'm not doxing myself on YouTube. Wouldn't be cool. Let me pull this out. It's the receipt. And let's see what we got here. I'm so excited. Alright, so we've got some freebies here. We have our payday and no spin stickers. Ooh, we also have some more freebies. This was the cute little designs that actually match up with the theme. So that's so cool. Didn't order those. Those were just a thank you. So that's so cool. I love that. Okay, so let's look at the month theme first. That's what I always like to start with because that's sunflowers. We have sunflowers. We have some red and yellow, oranges, fall leaves. Yes, this is very fall vibe with the backdrop of wood. So that looks so cute. Very, very cute. By the way, she sells these on Etsy. It's Casey Lee on Etsy. And because I buy from her like every single month, um, she has been kind and gracious enough to give you guys a code, Thriving15. You can get 15% off of your sticker orders if you order from her. So use that code, buy from her if you want. I'm not affiliated. She's not paying me to advertise her stuff, but um, she has been kind enough to give you guys a code for 15% off, and I'm going to let you guys know about it because I buy these all the time. <laughs> All right, so we have our monthly stickers there. We have our transaction log, which is what I use for my WTF Wednesday. We have three sinking funds, one, two, and three. We have our November budget. We have paycheck one, two, and three for November. We have weekly check-in. I bought four of those for the four weeks. I like to use those in my WTF Wednesday section. This is what I use on my calendar a lot of times. And these are also some extras. This is, goes to the calendar. These actually fit the boxes of the monthly spread, um, but I use them for other purposes as well. Then we have just some extras that I got from her and then some more extras because I'm so extra. Speaking of extra, I have my boxes for my WTF Wednesday. I bought some extras of this because I always use these in my WTF Wednesday. There's some blank boxes that you can use for decorating up on your book. Um, and then these are all from Daily Duo Kit, but I don't have a Daily Duo. I actually cut these to fit my WTF Wednesday section, so you'll see how I utilize these stickers for that. So those are all of the stickers that I use from her. 
Well, not all the stickers. I also have some other stickers from her. So I have her Casey Lee Designs, her um, monthly headers. So I use that in our WTF Wednesday. What else do I have from her? Let's see. I do use like the no spin stickers from her, but I think that's it. Okay. Um, I also use Planner Kate. Um, some of her stickers. So we have for my YouTube paycheck, for our Modus paycheck. I did order these from Casey for ordering groceries. Um, I have some Hip Digi Chick. This is also on Etsy. I found to have some personalized um, words for my dashboard. And then these I made myself. So I have all of my sinking funds ready to go. I have other income. I'll just need one of those. More sinking funds for the two paychecks. Then I have my headers here so that I know how to um, break down the denominations. I have my footers. I have my sinking funds. Total bills at the bottom. Another one. Another sinking funds. Another sinking funds. And then my date and source that would go under other income. Another sinking funds. And that's another footer. Just one left on that page. So those are my stickers I made specifically. Um, because I don't have, I have a Cricut Joy, but it doesn't do the print and then cut option. It just does cut, so I can't like print these stickers and then stick it in the machine and have it cut around those areas. It doesn't work like that, unfortunately. Um, Cricut Joy is a great little thing to have just to be able to, you know, cut words and stuff in vinyl, but not so much printing and cutting your own stickers. So I can't do that, so what I have to do is I take this little exacto knife type thing and a ruler and I sit here and I actually physically hand cut each one. Um, I just printed this off in my printer on some sticker paper and then just hand cut them as I need them each month. That's what I do. That's how I circumvent having to buy a whole new Cricut. But I'm going to be honest, I'm going to save up for that one day. It's happening. I would love to be able to just print and then cut and not have to do this like by hand each time. Maybe Christmas, who knows? <laughs> so that's all the stickers I plan to use. I might have some other odds and ends stickers because I've got a ton of stickers um, that I might end up using and just to decorate it up and everything. But this is what we're going to use. And um, I think that's all I should mention on that. So let me just show you, I guess, like an overview of what I'm going to do, especially if this is like one of the first times you've ever watched me decorate up my Erin Condren for the next new month. I'll do a quick pre-walkthrough. This is the before, if you will. We have our no November spread, and of course you could always just leave it just like this. It's perfectly fine. Um, I just like to give it a little bit more jazz. I think it looks so cute when it's done. Um, then you have a blank page here. This is where I typically put my um, budget for the month, like this. So I can see at a glance everything we expect to come in and what we expect to go out. Um, then I have a dashboard here, which I decorated all up using Casey's, whatever stickers I have left over for, from Casey's uh, kits. And I love it. Then I do paycheck one on these two pages. I need two whole pages for this. Paycheck two for these two pages. Paycheck 3, which is technically Paycheck 2, but we're not going to get into that. And then we have other income, so like any side hustles, YouTube, that type of thing. Then on this page, I do my WTF Wednesday overview. And then I have three pages of sinking funds. So that's how I like to utilize all these empty pages um, to make it fit for my budget. And then in the back here, we're going to be... I'm decorating up November's section for WTF Wednesday. We just have this one more week, which we'll do on Wednesday for this weekly check-in. But then we'll have one, two, three, four pages for November. And if I timed or if I counted this right, we should have one, two, three, four, five for December. Yay! Oh my gosh. 
gosh, I can't believe we are already that close. So we'll be decorating these pages up for November for my weekly check-in. It'll look just like this with the new theme. And that's all there is. That was the before walkthrough. And the rest of this video will be time-lapse as you watch me work through all of this and get it all set up for the new month. At the end, we'll come back together and we'll do one final walkthrough together so you can see how it all turned out. I hope you guys enjoy this part of the video. You're meant to burn as bright as a star among the midnight sky. All the pressure blinded me, but now I see I'm no different from the rest. You said I'd fly away, but my walls have kept me down. Now I'm lost.
reaching for that open door show me proof that there is something more i just hope i am okay with the choices i make maybe then i'll understand you said i'd fly away but my words have kept me down now i'm lost and i'm afraid and i'm close to hit the ground you said i'd fly away you said i'd fly anywhere but i keep on flying All right, and we're done. So I will do a quick little walkthrough with you guys. I didn't fill everything out because um, I just like to do that on my own time and I feel like it would just make this video super long. But let's go ahead and do our walkthrough. Here is the monthly overview. I have all the birthdays this month. I have every single bill that we have that comes out on its own. And then I also have um, all the paydays that we expect to come in. So we have the 16th and the 21st. That's our modus and our YouTube and then two paydays for our regular paycheck stuffings. The days I order groceries, which let's be honest, I haven't done that in quite some time. Um, but I need to get back into that for sure. And then Everything in black is the YouTube videos I plan for the month. Just a, uh, an idea. These things kind of change as the month goes on. And then I have all the appointments that I know about. So my girls' therapy appointments, as I said, they swap weeks. So it's AK, KK, AK, KK, AK. <laughs> and then my husband and I have a meeting at 3 p.m. Then we have... Some more dental appointments, dental cleanings, another dental appointment for me. Um, so I have all the appointments I could think of. Then we, of course, have Thanksgiving, which I need to find out. Hold on one sec. We do have a Thanksgiving dinner on this day, so I'll just use, let's use the yellow. I feel like the yellow stands out a little bit better. So I'm going to put that right here. And this is our Thanksgiving together with my family, 4 p.m. Oh, am I dyslexic? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Thanksgiving dinner. Okay. Um, let's see. Is that all? Is that everything? Did I go over everything? I think that I did. So we have my bills, my personal, my YouTube, and any appointments that we have. And uh, yeah. And then my hubby has his festival on the 12th. And then he also has a work dinner on the 11th. So that's good to know for me. Um, I didn't fill this out. I will do that on my own, which actually I don't even think that I did my October one. I did not. See, I didn't even do this. Like, I, I did the video and just forgot about it. But I definitely will this time because this month is going to be pretty tight in the way of our paychecks. So this month we have just two regular standard paychecks, which means it's going to be a pretty tight month. And we need to be extremely careful with our money this month. So... I definitely am going to be filling this out for that. Um, this is my dashboard, of course. We've got our thought dump and video ideas. I made a couple of goals and just not even necessarily goals, but just keep in mind this stuff is happening. Um, and then this month, I'm not going to write down all the appointments here, but definitely their birthdays. Um, these are my two kids. And then, so this one it just turned 18 today, actually. It's her birthday. And then... Um, my son's birthday he'll be turning 22 so then we have our monthly quote you are awesome yes you are and then we have our paycheck so paycheck one 
which looks like every single other month. So I use Casey Lee's stickers up here. These are my stickers to kind of match my cover. Um, I may have to change them depending on what my cover looks like when it comes in for the 2023 year. But we have Paycheck 1, Paycheck 2, and then we have Paycheck 3, which looks a little bit different because it's a modus. It doesn't get as much money as the other checks. And um, we use it to pay our truck and then whatever is left we put towards things. Other income, that's our side hustles. And then we have our transaction log, which is what I bring over from our WTF Wednesday, just so I can have it in the month section here. And so we can keep a tally of how much we have spent in total for the month. Then we have three pages of sinking funds so that we can compare it to the previous month and um, see how much we have saved or maybe didn't save. Then we have our WTF Wednesdays. They all look the same. You got November here. Um, it looks really cool. I hope that you kind of got an idea of what I do, how I cut her stickers up a little bit to just be able to put a full week on one page, which is what I wanted. And it's been working out for me all year long. I love flipping back through here as the various month themes come by. It's just super cute. I love it. It's a good little look back. I have a question. I'm, I'm filming. I know, but it's important. I need you to help me rewrite one of my English tests that I look took a long time ago because it got returned because I didn't do it right so they didn't grade it. Okay. But I don't know how to write a business complaint so I need help with it. So when are you going to do that? I need to do it soon. When? Today or tomorrow? Today. Because they need to grade it. Okay, well, I have to finish filming, clearly. I have to edit this and what I have if to I give upload you an it. What if I give you a reason for that? What is the reason? <laughs> Let my me hear reason, this. My reason is, if I take this test, I will graduate. When? When I'm done. With the test? Mm-hmm. Nuh-uh. Mm-hmm. You didn't finish all of your... I only needed to take culinary. Really? Mm-hmm. So that's the only... Because I took culinary one, two, three, four, and five. Bro, what? Did you know that? I didn't know until today. <laughs> <laughs> I knew before we left. So you want to finish it today. Yeah, that's I, your incentive. I knew before we left for my appointment. And you didn't tell me in the drive. No, because I want to keep it as a surprise, but now I can't keep it as a surprise because I don't know how help. <laughs> All right, well, can you look over <laughs> in this time frame, look over that lesson specific? Yeah. And then... Um, Probably after Mi'kmaq comes, we can do it together, and then I'll edit up, and I'll just do a late night drop video. Okay. What? <laughs> okay, so, sorry, my daughter came in here with some news. Um, yeah, she actually might graduate <laughs> tonight. She might finish her last required course, so that's, that's awesome. Anyway. So, I have four pages of weekly check-ins, so that is all the month of November, well, almost all. You still have, like, one more day of November, which we'll just put into December's. So we have one, two, three, four, and five pages left for December. Um, wow, we are almost done with this book. It's crazy. All right, so what do you guys think? Do you like it? Does it look good? I love the theme that she went with, the sunflowers. It just makes me want to pull these things out. <laughs> and um, it looks super cute. Like, come on. This is the last Halloween decor, because actually I started this video on the 31st, which was Halloween, and it's now November 1st. So, anyway, we're going to drop this video today. Tomorrow we do have our WTF Wednesday, as usual, so we'll get that done. So that, and then the the sinking funds update and cash condensing will be on the third and then I'll be able to close out the entire month of October so that'll be we're a little bit late but it's fine it is we're working with it so with that being said I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions feel free to put them down in the comments if you're still watching and you're not subscribed go ahead hit that subscribe button like the video and you guys I'll see you 
in the next one, which will be tomorrow, WTF Wednesday. As always, until next time, bye.